welcome to QV and Talents. My name is Bambi and today we are going to be going to the Powerhouse Museum in Sydney. So I don't think I've gone to this since I was seven. It's been like quite a few years so I'm very excited to check it out. There's a couple um, exhibitions on that I'm really excited to see and I hope you enjoy too. So make sure to like and subscribe and let's get on with the video. The Museum in Ultimo is a major branch of the Museum of Applied Arts and Sciences in Sydney. The others being the Historic Sydney Observatory at Observatory Hill and the newer Museum's Discovery Centre at Castle Hill. As you enter the museum, you are met with the Locomotive No. 1 exhibition. It brings life to the age of steam travel which began in 1855 when this very locomotive hauled New South Wales first train. The first one I saw was Eucalyptusdom. It reckons with our cultural history and ever-changing relationship with the gum tree, presenting over 400 objects from the powerhouse collection. This exhibition was hauntingly beautiful. It really left an impact and made you think about the history that Eucalyptus has had with Australia. The Steam Revolution exhibition shows 12 steam engine hands-on displays, old boilers, videos, and much more. For more than 200 years, steam did almost everything for our society. The steam exhibition shows how steam touched the lives of millions. The King Cinema at Powerhouse Ultimo is a recreated 1930s style Art Deco cinema. The famous King Cinema chain built many Art Deco cinemas in Sydney suburbs in the 1930s. The next exhibition was called Interface, People, Machines, Design, and it explores how design has been applied to information technology products, about how a handful of companies made complicated technology appealing and easy to use. One of the more interactive exhibitions is called Experimentations. This exhibition shows how scientific and technological breakthroughs have answered questions over the years and changed many of our ideas about everyday phenomena. The lab is an immersive, interactive multimedia space for you to explore and learn more about digital technologies. A place for everyone you can play, make, imagine and create with the lab. The Transport Exhibition is a gallery that goes through all kinds of vehicles that have shaped the way of our lives. You can see stuff like a flying boat to the railway station and a carriage. One of my favourite displays was the micro cars. They are beyond adorable and I just wanted to drive one instantly. Using scooter engines and super light bodies, the micro cars became popularised with their appealing aesthetic. The space exhibition includes the Zero Gravity Space Lab, the Space Shuttle and so much more. It tries to represent living and working in space. Another beautiful exhibition was the 500 Arhats of Cheng Yong Sa Temple. The 500 Arhats were discovered in 2001 to 2002 among the ruins of the Cheng Yong Sa Temple in South Korea and are believed to be between 600 and 1000 years old. In Buddhism, an Arhat is one who has attained enlightenment. One of my favourite installations, created by artist Kim Seong Young, made up of 1,000 audio speakers. The exhibition suggests that Arhats are meditating in an attitude of intimate, reclusive poise amidst a cacophony that evokes the distracting bustle of urban life. The next exhibition was called The Invisible Revealed. This exhibition questioned objects and what they're made of, how old they are, and if anything's inside. With new technology, we are able to unsolve these mysteries. The museum
Beam use state-of-the-art technology with Neutron Beam and Synchrotron X-ray facilities combined with digital visualization techniques. This exhibition shows some of the discoveries that have been made, including how to identify different makers of the samurai sword and a 200-year-old pocket watch. This exhibition also shows digital 3D models of some of the collection objects and a digital reconstruction of the missing portions of a fragmentary carpet done with artificial intelligence. These portions were completed by the EPI Center at UNSW. The Clay Dynasty exhibition celebrates studio ceramics in Australia as shaped by three generations of makers. The Clay Dynasty offers new perspectives by displaying ceramics of the crafts movement alongside the postmodern and contemporary artworks of today. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you all have an amazing day. Make sure to like and subscribe Hubians and I will catch you in my next video. Thank you guys, bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.